Hello everybody, welcome back to Pet Paradise. Today we will be doing another video on my marbled newt and other newt and salamander species. Today we will be talking about two categories. The first one is where you can find and buy a salamander or newt. The second one is what common mistakes people make with, uh, with keeping these guys. Um, so let's just jump right into this. So the where these guys natural habitat habitat is is almost every type of newt and uh salamander species live on every continent other than antarctica i don't know for that as a for sure fact but i know there's most likely most species in each continent but um if you guys want to purchase one of these guys today we bought ours from Scales and Tails on Powers, and the last time we saw them, they had two in stock. We got one, so I don't know if they still have one in stock. You guys can just go check it out. But um, uh, you can order them online or just other. That there are lots of ways. Just look it up online to see where you can purchase newts and salamanders. But let's jump into the what common mistakes people make with getting salamanders and newts. I think the most most big mistake is people aren't get, getting these guys the moisture they need. They need to be sprayed with either a spray bottle or automatic misting system two to three times a day. I like doing it once in the, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, and once before we go to bed. And that helps us have a nice consistent misting routine for these guys so they know when they can be wet. But another thing is you need to have a pond. In this case, we just used a glass bowl, but if what in your pond, you have to make sure you have like a little rock or something leading into your pond. Otherwise, these guys might not be able to get out and possibly drown, which you really do not want. And then, but, one downside to rocks and twigs and other things you will find outside is some might could be toxic, which can secrete through a salamander newt skin and uh, make them sick and possibly pass away again. So you just got to be careful with that. And you do need to have the right substrate. Otherwise, they won't be able to burrow in it. But um, really, that's about it on the co most common mistakes people make. But just make sure your hands are wet while um, you'll, you are holding these guys. But remember, there are amphibians and stuff. They secrete stuff right through their skin. So don't handle them every, now, every day. Just handle them every now and then. Um, but... Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching this video and make sure you smash that subscribe button for more awesome pet videos. Stay on the pet trail and see you next time.